In order to access the Auto Operation Settings menu on your Controls Incorporated module, you must first enter the controller password. To do so, please watch our Controls Incorporated password entry video. Once you have accessed the configurable menu, keep pressing the menu button until you reach Auto Operation Settings. In this video, the operator will set up throttle mode for target throttle control. The transducer will not only start and stop the engine, but it will also control engine speed. To do so, keep pressing the up arrow button until you reach throttle mode, which is currently set to linear. In order to change the throttle mode, press enter and brackets will appear around the current setting. Press the up arrow button until you reach the desired choice, which in this case is target. With target throttle, the operator can maintain a specific level or pressure by controlling engine speed. Then press Enter to remove the brackets. Press the up arrow button to view the gain trim, which is currently set to 50%. The operator can increase or decrease throttle reaction response time by adjusting the gain trim setting. In this video, the operator chooses to leave it set to 50%. Press the up arrow button to view the minimum control speed, which is currently set to 800 RPM. Press the up arrow button to view the maximum control speed, which is currently set to 1800 RPM. Press the up arrow button to view the minimum speed level, which is currently set to 120 inches. This means that when the level of fluid in the well drops down to 120 inches, the engine will run at the minimum control speed of 800 RPM. Press the up arrow button to view the maximum speed level, which is currently set to 480 inches. This means that when the level of fluid in the well rises to 480 inches, the engine will run at the maximum control speed of 1800 RPM. Press the up arrow button to view the maintain level, which is currently set to 75 inches. This is the target height that the operator chooses to maintain the level of fluid in the well. In order to change the maintain level, press enter and brackets will appear around the current setting. Continuously press the up arrow button or down arrow button to adjust the number of inches. You may also hold down the arrow buttons and the numbers will scroll up or down accordingly. Once you have reached the desired level, which in this case is 300 inches, then press enter to remove the brackets. Press the up arrow button to view the current level, which is 97 inches. Finally, press and hold both the menu and enter button at the same time in order to return to the normal engine operating display. Always cycle the key switch off and back on again to retain any menu changes. When the Controls Incorporated module is placed in auto mode and no start command is present, the controller will automatically enter sleep mode after two minutes of inactivity. However, it should be noted that while the controller is in auto mode, any external input will cause the engine to start, such as floats or transducers. In this video, the engine will start and the pump will run according to level transducer settings programmed in the configurable menu. Please watch our Controls Incorporated Level Transducer with Failsafe Float video to learn about start and stop set points for engine operation. When the pit levels rise above the start point, the controller will immediately power up and begin a countdown to start the engine. In order to maintain a level of 300 inches of fluid in the well, the engine will accelerate to the maximum control speed of 1800 RPM if the fluid level is above 300 inches. Please note that when the engine ramps up or down, arrows will be shown next to the engine speed on the normal engine operating display. When operating with target throttle via a transducer, the display screen will alternate between the typical engine vital screen and the transducer settings. The current level of the pit will appear on the display in between the current RPM speed and the stop set point of the transducer.
If the level of fluid in the well falls below the target height of 300 inches, the engine will begin to decelerate to the minimum control speed of 800 RPM so that the well can fill back up to the target level. The pump will continue to operate in this pattern, ramping up and down, in order to maintain a fluid level of 300 inches. The closer the level gets to 300 inches, the smaller the adjustments are in engine speed. Once the pit levels have lowered below the stop point, the engine will ramp down, cool down, then shut down, and the controller will go back into sleep mode after two minutes of inactivity.